What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing how you can free up some storage on your iPhone using Google Photos. Look, if you're like me and you take a tremendous amount of photos or videos either using your Pixel or your iPhone, you probably are starting to run out of storage space and you get hit with that dreaded bug where you run out of storage space on your iPhone. So you either have to delete photos and videos or applications or something like that. However, if you're using Google Photos, you don't actually have to worry so much about that because of the settings that Google has. Plus the fact that your Google account comes with 15 gigabytes for free, Google has a very handy feature in the Google Photos app that tells you about how much storage you have available to you and when you're about to run out. First, let's just go ahead and talk about setting up Google Photos on your iPhone. Once you download the app from the App Store, you're gonna walk through the whole setup process where you have to allow access to the photos. You can allow access to all your photos at that point. And then you're gonna select backup as whatever the Google account that you have set up on your iPhone. Now, here's your first choice. This is exactly where you can choose Storage Saver, which is a slightly reduced quality, but quite honestly, it's still incredibly high quality. This is formerly known as the high quality feature, which used to be free on your Google account back in the early parts of the early days. But in effective in June-ish of 2021, Google got away from offering the free storage for everything, so they went with a Storage Saver. A little reduced photo quality, but you're never gonna notice online. You only really notice if you actually print out the pictures and make them really, really large. But even if you print out the photos like a five by three or even an eight by 10, you're not even gonna notice any difference at all. However, if you wanna store the original quality, you can store them in the original quality through that choice. But just know that by choosing the original quality, that is going to take up more of your storage space, which means you're gonna to have to probably pay for more storage. But it's very, very cheap to get up to 100 gigs for basically less than a half of a Starbucks every single month um, if you were gonna go 100 gigs of photo storage using Google Photos. Once you choose your backup options, then you're going to see uh, at the very top of the page, it's gonna say setting up your photo library. Now it's taking all the photos that you have taken and putting it into a Google Photos album from your iPhone. Now just know that these are gonna to start to look for the same photos that you have in your Apple photo album. So needless to say, it's gonna take a little bit of time, especially if you have thousands and thousands of photos. It probably took every bit of 20 to 30 minutes and I had about 6,000-ish photos on my Apple iPhone. And once you chug through all of those backups, again, mine took somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes. That's really where the magic starts to happen uh, from a Google Photos perspective. So I was able to clean up about 6,000 photos that I had backed up on my iCloud storage where I was able to delete them from my iCloud storage, but know that they were not lost because of the Google account feature that you have out there. Once everything's backed up to Google Photos, this is where you can start to delete and do some of the magic where you're cleaning up your iCloud storage. So if you were to press on the icon in the upper right-hand corner, the icon where you have your uh, Gmail account set up, press on that, it's gonna pull up a menu. And within that menu, you're gonna start to see something called free up space. You can do this a couple different ways. So you can either hit free up space and if it's got something available right then and there, it's gonna show you that you can you can free up that space or you can select Google Photo Settings that's a little bit below, manage device storage, which just says free up storage and manage the amount of storage on the app itself that's using your device. So if you wanna free up some of your storage space, you can either hit the menu in the upper right hand corner and see that it says free up space or another way to do it is select library at the very, very bottom and hit utilities in the upper right hand corner and then at the bottom that you're gonna see there, organize your library, you can hit free up space. And you're already gonna see that I have about 2,125 different items to back up from my iCloud specifically to the Google Photos, which means these are already all backed up to Google Photos. And all I have to do is delete them. It's gonna free up that storage space from my iCloud account. And so as soon as you hit the free up storage space, it's gonna go ahead and tell you that it's freeing up the space and you're gonna allow Google to delete these 2,204 different items. Talks about the different types of photos that you have, and then you hit delete, and it's going to free up those different items that you have out there. Now, one of the options that you're gonna see is like when it says that you're almost done and you have deleted these items, you need to open the Apple Photos app, specifically go to albums and recently deleted tap select and then hit delete all. And when you do that, that's when you start to free up that iCloud storage and you're gonna to start to see that all the storage that you have available on your iCloud is gonna to start to get a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger because you've backed up those photos specifically to the Google Photos app. 
So by doing this really quick trick, specifically with the Google Photos app, you can open up a ton of storage. That way you don't ever have to worry about getting the dreaded message that you're running out of storage and you either need to pay for more or not. So that's it. That was just a quick video that you can use right now to free up some storage on your iPhone by using the Google Photos app. So that's it. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. And as always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we will see you next time.